Hello, my name is Ben Howard. Welcome to this video blog. Uh, the, the purpose of this video blog is to show you how to install uh, Microsoft Project using the Clip to Run feature. Uh, actually, what we're going to install the proper title is Project Pro for Office 365. Uh, this blog was really inspired by a blog that um, a fellow MVP of mine called Alex Burton wrote. So Alex wrote a blog uh, which I have referenced here called um, Project Online Hidden Gem Click to Run. You can find that from my blog. Um, I run a company called Apple Park, so my blog's up here at applepark.co.uk. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is access our Office 365 Technical Preview um, and just so that you know, I'm currently sitting uh, in France on a not particularly great uh, Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi connection. So here's my speed test for this. I'm currently downloading at uh, 2.61 megabits uh, per second and uh, uploading at slightly less than that. So um, let's get back to Office 365. Whoa, not my campsite, but Office 365. There we go. So, what do we do? Well, we are logged in as Ben Howard, we go into Office 365 and we go into the 365 preview. Let's just wait for that screen to open up. Now I'm going to try and do the majority of this in real time. First thing we need to do is assign user licenses. So I need to set, set my Office uh, Project Pro for Office 365 uh, license. Uh, to the user Ben Howard. So, we'll click on Ben Howard. And we can see I've got a couple of uh, plans that I'm signed up to. So, the first one uh, is Project Pro, Microsoft Project PPM Online. That name will change, that will just be called Project Online. And within there, I've got my Project Professional subscriptions. That's what I need to check. And again, uh, in future releases that will change up be called Project Pro for Office 365. So I click Save on that and that assigns the license uh, to me. So then we go back to the dashboard. And again this is slow simply because of uh, my, pretty much my network connection. You can see I'm down here on wireless. I've got uh, one bar on my Wi-Fi. So that's public Wi-Fi for you. But that's part of this test. Okay. And then once we're back into our Office 365 admin, we can click download software. Okay, now on the left hand side here it gives me a list of the software that I have um, that I have licenses assigned for and you'll see at the moment uh, Office 365 project is not there. What tends to happen is that this is going to take a few minutes to synchronize up um, before project, before the, the servers in the back end kind of realize that I've had this license assigned to me. So. Um, in the technical preview, this is kind of taking three to five minutes, so I'm just going to click refresh here. Okay. Just notice the time here, it's 7.55, in fact now it's gone to 7.56, so when we come back, maybe I'll pause the, the recording here, we'll come back and we'll, we'll, I'll note the time for you that that uh, software became available. Okay, so now it's 7.57, uh, we can see that Project has been uh, made available to me in the list of software, so I'm going to click on Project. Now if you do hear some noises in the background, it is because I am sitting in a French cafe. So people are having breakfast, 
Okay, here we go. So we have a couple of options here. Firstly, the language. Do I want English, Spanish, or Chinese? And then the version. Do I want 32-bit or 64-bit? I need 32-bit because the rest of my office is installed on 32-bit. And then I click on Install. And this will start the download um, for Project Pro for Office 365. 